Hey YouTube, it's Ashley and you're watching The Substance Project where we work to bring you more than just makeup tutorials and fashion hauls every Wednesday. So today I wanted to share a quick life hack for getting better sleep without medication. Lack of sleep, aside from making me feel like an absolutely hormonal crazy basket case, is also linked to cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and obesity. Yikes. Okay, so with a newborn, my sleep is less than ideal to begin with. I am up on average two, three, four times a night. In those moments, I'm reaching for my phone. Right? It's one of the only things that keeps me awake and from dropping my son. However, oftentimes I find myself struggling to get back to sleep once my little man has gone down. Everyone says you should shut your electronics down two hours before you go to bed. We all know this, but I don't think anyone does it. Well, if you've noticed the quality of your sleep declining in recent years, it could be that behavior that's driving it. Fear not, I have a strategy for you that does not involve putting your phone down. So here's the important thing to know, is that not all light is created equal. But it's that light emitted by our electronics, like our phone, our iPad, our laptop, that's particularly disruptive. And that's because it's blue light, which is short wavelength light. The reason this type of light is bad is because it prohibits our bodies from producing melatonin, which is a sleep inducing hormone. Melatonin helps regulate our body's circadian rhythm, and it's that hormone that makes us feel sleepy. So researchers have a few recommended strategies for combating this, not all of which are realistic. The first is to avoid blue lights at night. So basically this means you certainly can't work a night shift and you should be turning all the lights off a few hours before you're intending to go to bed. Not realistic. The second strategy is to actually wear special goggles which block the blue light. So while these are effective, they run about $80, and they're probably not the fashion statement you're looking for most of the time. But the third strategy is to change the color of the light you're exposed to, and this is doable. So here's the hack. Download an app which will change the color of the light that your phone emits. I downloaded Twilight on my Android. It's awesome, it just gives your phone a red tinge, and it comes with pre-installed settings to actually automatically turn on when the sun sets and turn off when the sun rises. So I don't even have to think about it. Let me give you a little preview here, see if you can see this. It's reflecting my screen, but you can see how it just sort of goes red, and then it'll fade out to show you what it looks like when it's turned off, right? Pretty cool. So again, I've had this for about a week, and I do think that it's helping. I've been able to fall asleep quickly um, after waking up with my son in the middle of the night. Side note that Lauren will absolutely love, this concept of replacing blue short wavelength LED lights with red lights is also used to help the sea turtles along the Florida coast. Sea turtles who typically use the light of the moon to orient themselves towards the ocean can get confused by the lights on beachfront property. So many stretches of Florida coastline actually have regulations now prohibiting the use of lights or requiring property owners to change the color of the lights during key nesting season. Anyways, this concept is supported by a number of research studies, most notably one from Harvard in 2012, which I will link to below. I'll also link to the Twilight app that I mentioned. If you're an iPhone user, you might want to check out Flux, which is one that I also saw quite a bit in my research. Hope this life hack is helpful and helps you get a little more sleep and a little better sleep. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up to let us know that we hit the nail on the head. We would love, love, love for you to subscribe to our channel. Just click here. We post new videos every Wednesday, and if you subscribe, you'll be notified of those. And if you really, really like us, think about sharing this video with a friend, maybe your girlfriend, your mom, your sister, whoever you think might like us. Sharing is caring. Thanks for watching and sweet dreams.